Get to breaking me down for the street too. For this one, I'm putting down those flames. You're still gonna kneel. My arm's strong, cause stepping on that rock made me a household name. <laughs> Welcome back to Doe Flop North vs South Volume Number Three. We're about to get into the only non-North vs South clash. It's going to be Midlands vs Midlands. Ain't really got much of a ring to it, but fuck it, we said it anyway. We're about to get into the clash. MC on my right hand side, one of my longest pals in this battle rap shit. Fucking ill freestyler and jazz musician as well. My man Sueta Kinch makes some noise. <laughs> Yo, on my left hand side, one of the hottest newcomers to come, actually newcomer of the year. Please make some noise. Oh shit! That was fire. Yeah. Alright, this is going to be a great battle, I've been uh, honestly looking forward to this one a lot man, it's going to be absolutely hilarious, battle number two of the day, thank you for Birmingham for showing up, it's on my man Suwoto, whenever you want bro, let's go. Fucking girl, man. <laughs> I'm killing this cat, everything I'm spitting is facts, you won't survive in Birmingham like Briggsy's respiratory tract. <laughs> yes. His personals hit so personally. One word out of you, I'll snatch your person and leave. <laughs> Yay, Harry made it. Harry's animated. One backhand in the cake, Harry gets animated. Boo. I see you had your locks removed. Still a vegan prostitute. <laughs> Let's have a lecture, son. Tell everyone what's best for breakfast and lunch. When this got set up, I got an inbox from a cow. <laughs> When this got set up, she's got hooves on her iPhone, it's impressive as fuck. Throw an egg at that pretentious cunt. <laughs> Behold, a non kebab eating brummy who lives in Leeds. Vegan bitch, please, this is my city now. How dare we at the big cheese? <laughs> you don't belong in this place. You got traits and say dropped off some comet in space. Omelets, non almond milk porridge, he hates. You went to boycott Burger Bar, boys. <laughs> you want to shot in the face! <laughs> You're the worst bitch, I'm worshipped. I turn up, you turn it. He's not from Rome, it's just lies and rumours. If you put your ends on your back, you'd be lying in manure. I will drag you by the shoes, prize your eyes while I sacrifice a rabbit live on a skewer. I'll throw an ocean line cruiser and a live dolphin right through you. Spit fish on your tomb like this, I don't even like tuna. This is the revenge for every, the soul of every carrot and turnip you ate. I will starve you for 30 days, set light to a sirloin and turn it on your face. Just to see a heretic burn at the stake. Yes! Because you look like food. I can't tell you when a chicken leg apart. You're gonna need Rolls Royce engine parts, 10 exemptions, special passes, this weapons craft, interception charts from Bletchley Park. You have your whole life ahead of you to never get this far. <laughs> <laughs> this, this too much for you. It's one swift move, the kid done soon. I spread material to snuff the brother, like Kim Jong-un. <laughs> but Harry's bars are shitty. Harry's raps are shitty. Someone grab the nearest carrot and stab him quickly. I put my city on my back, you turned your back on the city. I don't care how many daggers Harry carry, I won't be happy till Harry doing Harakiri. Mm. Heretic, I'm wigging on him. I don't know if that hair is his. <laughs> I'm beheading him. Yo, you're headed for hemorrhage, any firstborn heretics get King Herodid. Stop bastard, your pop bars cannot pass me. 50 quid says Sideshow Bob Marley cannot scar me. <laughs> But maybe he's a creative genius. Took dreadlocks, brown skin, made it elitist. <laughs> if you're thinking music for hipsters, you're not wrong. Type to use beard wax, even if he hasn't got one. <laughs> you're the product of late night organic sangria and a fair trade condom. Gone wrong. <laughs> 
One wrong, cough, sniff, pick, stop it. Get to work, you are not sick. I will storm your student dorms, kick over your justics. Hold your hamster hostage. Hold your pet hamster hostage. Drop kick the coccyx. Should have made this a one round or I'm done now. I feel like I'm punching a sunflower. Wild one, my lord. You look like your gun might shoot sun dried fruit. <laughs> in that position like Mother Earth from an ayahuasca vision. You have these exciting moves. I can't quite deduce what you're trying to do. If some guy stuck a knife in you, you'd bleed papaya juice. <laughs> Time. Let's go. Let's go, heretic. So it's north versus south. Mm. For some reason, they brought in the two Birmingham lads. We're both from the same place. It's like we're fighting over the same turf to rap, but I didn't know you were from here. So it's something new that I've learned, in fact, because I didn't realise there were any old, posh-sounding black guys in Birmingham who weren't my dad. <laughs> <laughs> You are a privately educated Christian with a degree that you got from Oxford. You literally have the same life story as Boris Johnson. <laughs> you're too posh to be considered middle class. That is ridiculous to know. When you're trying to market yourself as urban, you claim you're only renting a holiday villa that you own. And, you, and it's mad, because apart from that, being in the middle is all you know. You're middle-aged, middle-tier, and you are middle of the road. Oh. Oh. But you're always claiming you've seen a load of violence because that's the edgier model. Can't have them known that you've got a cellar full of vintage reds by the bottle. <laughs> or that you never say, oh my god, out of respect for the gospel. Or that you feel like you're staring into your future whenever you see Trevor McDonald. <laughs> Supposedly seen. It's the Oxford campus where you used to scrap, you bad man. People gathering on the croquet lawn to see a man get van down. <laughs> Soweto rolls up with a couple of lads with man bags like, which one of you chaps wants to catch these jazz? <laughs> You're too proud to admit the life you inherited has gotten you a few pounds. How come your weekly gin spend is what it would cost to do to move south, but you dress like your main source of income is selling NOS balloons at Boomtown? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Let's go! go hard. But fair enough! Fire. But fair enough! Because when you finished private school, you chose the tour life and you paid sax. When your mates finished private school, they chose to commit war crimes and evade tax. Bro, <laughs> 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 I'd run up on your school reunion just to get the small guys all their take backs, robbing Soweto's people like Paul Simon with Graceland. But let's, let's get deep. Because <clears throat> maybe that's why you adopted this pan Africanist spiel. Because in a wealthy white environment, you were made to feel like your blackness isn't real. So you overcompensated. Coming into a black music genre thinking that would make you heal. No, it's fair enough, mate. I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> Let's go, man. Let's go. Look, I can drop wisdom on you even though I'm two decades younger because it's effortless. Black and educated is great. You don't have to pretend to be tough to get acceptance. And Oxford is cool. But it's just something that I reference because I know it wasn't good looks that got your face put on the front of the prospectus. <laughs> so he wants to break down the race shit and take the scenic route. You say I'm not your dad. Bruv, there's something we need to speak about. <laughs> <laughs> you write raps in the undefined gap between middle class white man and upper middle class white man. <laughs> I mean, racism, stereotypical images we're living under, but listening to this bitch, 
I want to conform to every single one. Blood clap, bring the guns, chicken buckets, any girl, as long as her bat is the biggest one. Because we see you at black rallies, it's uncomfortable. Like, we appreciate the love, but you don't have a fucking clue. <laughs> what was his first trip from the village to Hansworth like? Wow, actual black people, traffic lights. <laughs> Did you run up to the red, green, and amber lights like, Joe lost the forum. <laughs> Blood clap, little orphan. <laughs> this mixed kid don't know his roots at all, and the first mixed kid to see the story of Chicken George and identify with chickens more. Your dad's your only black friend. Your <laughs> <laughs> hey. dad is your only black friend. That's an instant lose, bro. Just a bunch of beach coconuts. That's Harry Robinson crew, so... Tell your mama, cut her off if she call again. Mad. But she treats the bone well, I call her collagen. She makes so much time for her colored friends. Whoa, 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 here's to you, Mrs. Roberts. I'm sorry. I'm sorry your kid is a failure. In the slow lane to appropriation like an inverted Iggy Azalea. Your life is butternut quash, tie-dye. Gentrify or die trying. The only black artist to appropriate from boring white guys. So I listened to some of this music you did. I thought I should give you some useful tips. Don't do it, your music shit. <laughs> so... <laughs> fucking Disney choruses, is it? That's your style. It's like the Rasta Crab and the Little Mermaid had a child. Giving <laughs> <laughs> me Maltese all day, like a cross between Raja speech drama and County Galway. Cause every heretic script sounds like fairies in spring. He raps everything like it's set to a jig. Gets aggressive a bit, gets to the end and it's shit. <laughs> you know what my next suggestion is? Hop to the left with a skip. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it, edit. Censor that shit. That's the worst lines I've seen on display since me and your mum checked the pregnancy kit. <laughs> Your Lord of the Dance bars can't mess with me. You think you're best on beat? That's an embarrassing white climb down, a La La Land acceptance speech. That's why I bring a... Yeah, that's why I bring a fire performance. You pushed the wrong envelope. That's why you're fired for it. Your life getting barred away. I'll impale you on your glass of Chardonnay. Your mum was playing 52 dick pickup. Yo. <laughs> Your life getting barred away. I'll impale you on your glass of Chardonnay. Your mum's playing 52 dick pickup. I don't know which race cards to play. I don't know if you're extra off Apocalypto or hopped off a banana boat back to sing a Calypso. 15 kilo flipping emo Philippine. Now for the truth. Are you a Burmese child who fled underground making thousands of shoes? Or a mascot that fell off the back of a Maori canoe? Keep an eye on Harry's accent in his raps tonight. I'm not sure if he's an actual black guy or a Jap spy. <laughs> Your face designed by boy band focus group. <laughs> I curse the racially ambiguous algorithms that molded you. Heretic. Hell of bitch. Fucking face generated by generic pop assembly kit. Check his ethnicity, says 10% everything. Black, white, lesbian. <laughs> Says 10% everything, black, white, lesbian, it's everything's ticked. In the sense it's 220 ticks, there's only seven picks. Stop, mate, we are not the same. You want US sunblock eight on a hot day. Wow. You are not brave, you are off beige. Wow. I wanna to... <laughs> Bitch, I'll grab hold of you. Slap you till you contract blackophobia. You're so unthreatening in the room, you're actually magnolia. Capture this. <laughs> Capture this blood spatter on the camera lens. All you see is racially nondescript body parts, fragments of dreads. These bars like Chronicles DF password, you'll never hack it again. Mm. Go! Go. Go. <laughs> so they say Soweto combines Britain and freestyle. That's the word on the battle scene. I wonder therefore what transcendently brilliant material Soweto will have for me. I'm a rapping beast! I'm back and happy, slap this geek, this cabbage salad sandwich, yam and geek, and have a meat, some lamb or beef instead of yam and beets. That's it. 
Because <laughs> you're keeping a unique form of battle rap alive. <laughs> that old Soweto Kinch approach of freestyling incoherently between odd little bits of written flow. But you might think freestyling makes you a good MC and that your competency really shows, but your freestyles are like unskippable YouTube ads that are longer than the video. I mean, <laughs> in your Zen battle, you referred to yourself as a rhyme dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Man, no one spits as profoundly as Kenji. At least no one who came around after 2006. So just imagine, just imagine there's a cipher, people spitting it raw. So what notices the rhyme schemes are it and are all. He's just watched Lord of the Rings and jumps in to perform like, Yo, 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 I'm a lyrical orc, I'm kicking your door. <laughs> Bro, fuck your wholesome lifestyle. I don't care how many times you've spoken to kids in assemblies, or how many charity tax codes you can fit in a spreadsheet. What, you think just because he's a jazz relic I'll be spitting respectfully? No, I'm from a cheek like Dizzy Gillespie, and I'm playing on your favourite things like Cold Train. You've never been on a big event before. I bought you out the slow lane. You went from so great to a no name. You trying to get it back in your old age? No way, you're getting revived off my movements like the OA, oh mate. Mm. Coming from, yeah. That's quiet. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from music to battle, it's proven hopeless for you. It should be easy. So many have done it on their own before you. You're a known performer. So how are you going to have no supporters trying to claw your way across an open border like Logan's daughter, bro? Because all your achievements only exist in the archives, you battle with a half arse vibe, never memorise any rounds, we never see the third like Half-Life, now you're stuck. Oh. Now you're stuck between being a goofy jazzer and a bars guy, it's a hard life, splitting Soweto in half like apartheid, and yeah, yeah, he's named after an African town, so I'll finish with some ignorant shit. Yeah, talk, talk. Because people are wondering how you ended up so seriously rich. And it's because back in the day he had a badly spelled email written to him and it turns out his uncle really was a wealthy Nigerian prince. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Say I freestyle about dragons and shit. He's got a whole flow. I'll come and take your weed, that's how you'll see your Drogo. <laughs> take him a while. I mean, listen yeah, you're a dickhead. <laughs> but that's not fair, that's not fair. I agreed with that shit, man. That was intense. Sick dread. I agreed with almost everything said. You kind of remind me of me. If I was a dickhead. <laughs> Way to go. I knew you'd call me old again. I mean, I knew you'd call me old again. But just wait till you hit menopause. Your boobs will hit the floor. It's all over there. <laughs> this Chinese raster lady is truly phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> Time to chant down Babylon in the student common room. <laughs> I'll never accept you as my daughter. Man. <laughs> you rap like you aim in the stick, trying to find water. <laughs> That's why you ain't got soldier stripes. I'm too much for him, like your social life. Thanks for all the rapping advice, but holler back when you've had an actual life. You live in a left-wing echo manger, retweet and tag for your rights. I don't support homophobia, or that arrogant dyke. <laughs> Listen, yeah? Never ever sing or record, please. Mad. Teenage angst seems to be your core theme. It's funny it says you started singing at 14. Still sound like you're singing at 14. <laughs> Jazz jokes, old jokes, more schemes. Before you sell a record in Birmingham, you'd be 40. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yes, everyone can see you love the multi-schemes. You're just another pretend shuffle. Black by one degree. <laughs> Bluff or tea. <laughs> I'll catch you in one of your sarcastic appraisals. Slap your head back with the hard back of a table. Mm. You ain't a Harry, more Harriet, Sally, or Hazel. <laughs> Swore just fake cheek like a Kardashian made you. You yeah. think 50 quid for almond milk's a big bargain. Only been brum once in passing. Trying to unlive his past in six generations of pig farming. You went to the villa ground, got disheartened. Couldn't find a Roman ruin or a single vineyard. <laughs> RMD7 in your chest. Try my angle when you rhyme cadavered. See how you fare in asylums of mic stranglers. My pen talking to you. This juice from the mad flow left you clothesline. You ain't got no brum credentials. Sonny Jim, you ain't been co-signed. 
which means I speak the truth. Basically, I'm lady vegan proof. I cut the queen's speech off in rum. I just lady leashed you. Yes. Here's every Barbie Barbie. I should call Remy Martin she for you. I bet geezers come up to your missus on them sneaky moves like, excuse me, is she single? Is she with you? <laughs> I'll slap your fold-up bike in your eye socket. I'm, yo, I will slam your fold-up bike in your eye socket. I'm iconic. Smack shuffle teen off stage like iconic. Heretic isn't all he seems. For approximately 140 weeks, she's had you all deceived. Now, I know this is some shit. It's a disguise that I've seen past, but guys, really, guys, it's my elite class. <laughs> <laughs> it's an unlikely story. I close my eyes sometimes, I get slightly horny. I'm oh, sorry, sir. <laughs> Please, can you sign this for me? Yes, just sign this one. It's a beautiful picture. Sign this for me. Can you? Cheers, bro. Good sport. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, you are sick on tracks. Really sick the way you spit your raps. Oh, look at the tits on that. <laughs> I'm sorry you said you seem beige. I admire you switching careers, babe. I, I mean, mate. <laughs> what do you say when peers claim you resemble a famous pop group member? Just hearsay? <laughs> This Harry thing is shameless appropriation, but your tits in that shower were so amazing, so okay then. You're a boss. I mean, it must be hard having kids, do you tour lots? I mean, it's amazing how you kept your figure. Sort of. I am an animal, a rapping machine. This is another angry, stampy feeted, fragile teen. Danny Jack, I don't like your girlfriend. He's in a bracket with Avril Lavigne. His raps are saggy, flat, batty, G-strings. Your raps are saggy, flat, batty, G-strings. Shuffle paid you 50 quid for a charity beating. You're not even the fifth best Harry I've beaten. I make this light work. Go dangle and hang from the ceiling. Yeah, done. Time. Girlfriend spits fuck. I love you, babe. So I, <laughs> so I saw something on your website that's a little bit rich. Your bio. Soweto Kinch is one of the most exciting young musicians. Are you serious? <laughs> Look, maybe that website was made a few years ago and you haven't rewritten it since, but back when you could have been considered young, the fucking internet didn't exist. <laughs> so let's unpack this. You act like your life's gritty, lying about what your class is, act like some kind of maverick when really you're a fucking Catholic or a Baptist. 40 years old, thinking claiming to be young is attractive. I can only deduce that you are a catfish. <laughs> Someone needs to take the Tinder app off him. He's bragging about his MOBA award, he sounds genius, and some girl's impressed thinking he must be worth a fortune now, decent. Just imagine how disappointed she is, and all around speechless when she ends up on a date with Bleeding Gums Murphy asking if she wants to talk about Jesus. <laughs> She would have wanted you to take her to Paris with champagne in your glasses, but instead she gets, well, this exhibition on John Coltrane looks fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> then we'll go for a piece of cake or a sandwich with my mates from the parish, and I'll walk you home, but that's it, because true love waits until marriage. Imagine, imagine the scenes on this tragic date. But then she remembers, you're marketed like one of Jazz's greats. So she asks about some of the massive names with which you used to collaborate and her mind is blown when she finds out that you used to play the sax for Gareth Gates. <laughs> 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 Gareth Gates. And it's funny, because since then you and Gareth have been on a similar decline. <laughs> 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 it's true. <laughs> and you would need a miracle for your shit to be revived, but bro, You've been a fucking Christian all your life. Why didn't either of you think to ask for some help from your spirit in the sky? I mean... <laughs> now, but some of your collaborations are amazing. I mean, working with Femi Tomoa and Abram Wilson, that is astounding to do. Wait, why is there so little response from the crowd in the room? You know Femi Tomoa, right? Abram Wilson? Are these names not powerful to you? 
Do you mean the only Saito Pinch collaborator you've heard of is the pop idol runner up from 2000? <laughs> 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 Yeah, me too. <laughs> Bro, when Will Young was still young, you were still at your peak. <laughs> Working as Simon Cowell's lapdog while he fucked the music industry deliberately, so fuck you. Think Alfred Hitchcock with his cinema team, because after working on Psycho, you can go, go, go down in history for killing the scene. Oh. <laughs>